so. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Jab, shuffle, uppercut, left jab, left jab, oops, that's wrong, and right, knockout. In 1993, I started training for the ring. It's a metaphor, people. I went to law school. What can I say? Rocky's my favorite movie. Anyway, like Lenny Bruce and George Carlin, I was 23 years old, and I wanted what needed to be said, said. No lies, no sales tax, no Laurentian lap dancing, just truth. Plus, quite honestly, fuck is my favorite word on the planet. Fuck, the word fuck is even great in other languages, so why is everybody always making such a fucking fuss about it? Wouldn't it be great if they made little boxing gloves for the tongue? <laughs> I was just bored and annoyed from a lifetime of being told to shut up and stop asking questions. You know what the definition of crazy is? I had people telling me to shut up before I knew any words. I was 14 and on one of those stupid high school trips back in the Reagan years. At 14 I used 10 other words besides like and you know on a regular basis. I just wanted to find out how many journalists had died covering war stories. I'm being honest when I said my teacher nearly slapped me in the mouth for asking. So yeah, law school. Once I had my Juris Doctor, truth was going to prevail. Jab, jab, uppercut, jab. I was going to go to Paris, join Reporters Sans Frontières, and free, imprisoned, and persecuted journalists all over the world by knocking down their cell walls with my bare fists and my foot. <laughs> I would hook up with Ken Sarawiwa in Nigeria and turn Dutch shell into sand. And who knows, maybe Elton John would be the headliner at Homapalooza in the Middle East and Uganda. <laughs> oh wait, sorry about this. So, blah, 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 doc review, blah, 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 blah. All right, so the project is expected to last several weeks and requires over 12 hours a day, six or seven days per week. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, I graduated law school. It was all right. I did some good stuff. It was the next part that was sort of tri tricky. Being a superhero and saving the world actually doesn't pay very well. Hence, the real reason Superman, Spider-Man, and the Hulk all have day jobs. Anyway, man, this round is really going really on now. Did it get, just get hotter? Did someone forget to ring the bell? Anyway, so as a lawyer, you have to do this thing called document review. It's the fucking dregs of society. You put maybe up to 100 at a time of these lawyers into these windowless rooms and stick you at a computer for 10 to 15 hours. Everybody's watching you, and when you get up to pee, um, they, the computer will like time out and all this bullshit, blah, 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 blah. And I'm trying to make this shorter because we have running out of time. But anyway, remember the eight hour day movement? It's like we were back in the 1800s again. So here we are working 200 hours. Skip that part. Okay, okay. <laughs> the movie rocket. Anyway, blah. I fucked that up. But still enough is enough, right? The movie Rocky came out in 1976. It was a bicentennial and basically Rocky and everyone in the film were like the forgotten. Each of them was a leftover haunting the streets of Philadelphia. I'm not a big believer in God or luck. And from what I've seen, success is just about money and office politics. But, I stop that. But, oh my god, but, but this has an ending. Okay, Rocky and everyone in the film were like they're forgotten. Each of them was a leftover haunting the streets of Philadelphia. I'm not a big believer in God or luck. But when I'm saying success is just about money and office politics. But for whatever fucking reason, Rocky in the movie and Stallone in real life, because in real life the movie was really about what Stallone was going through himself, just when everything seems absolutely over and every door seems shut, Rocky gets a chance. This asshole Apollo Creed challenges him to a fight. Apollo kind of resembles a current day Republican. Like he was a total asshole who would mutter these stupid poems and dress in the ridiculous silk Uncle Sam outfit. Rocky goes for it. And like Rocky says without the whole movie, he is not really worried about winning. For Rocky, it's all about going the distance. And that's the same <laughs>